A lot of people have been asking me lately, what can we do to deal with what's coming our way? There's a lot of challenges heading our way that are going to be hard to overcome. But one of the best things you can do right now is acquire more skills and knowledge. Skills are something you store up here, which can never be taken away from you. And of course, if your entire house and all your preps were to burn down tomorrow, those skills could help you adapt to whatever adverse conditions you would then be facing afterward. And that's why it's so important to go out and get training and learn the things you need to learn now. Basically, I am on my way to a refuge medical training here very soon. I'm very excited about it. It's a company put on by Bear Independent. If you don't know about his channel, check it out over here. But I'm going to get more medical training and learn how to use the gear within the first aid kits that I currently own. But to be honest with you, I'm not as proficient with that gear as I would like to be. And first aid is a skill that you should definitely be learning right now. And it might be the most important skill for preppers to learn because it's something that can be used no matter what the situation. And it doesn't need to be full on SHTF or some kind of existential crisis for us to use first aid to save somebody's life. First aid is required daily throughout the entire planet. People get hurt and people get injured all the time. It doesn't need to be during an emergency situation. So it's so important to be able to save somebody's life no matter what the scenario, that learning first aid is imperative. And if you don't have first aid skills, but you have first aid equipment, you still might not be able to save somebody that you could have otherwise. So make sure you check out refugemedical.com. And right now they have a North American rescue public access bleeding control kit, which is actually a very affordable kit that gets you in the door to be able to stop the bleed on somebody who has an open wound. And this is a kit that's only 57 bucks. If you use the code MAGIC, you'll get 10% off any order with refugemedical.com. And this is something that I'm very happy to support. They don't pay me or anything like that. They're just part of the community that puts out a good product as well as training seminars for people like us who want to get better at being prepared for any type of situation. So I definitely recommend you check them out. And I am going to open Open up the NAR public access bleeding control kit here so you can check out everything inside of it and see if it's worth it to you to have in your repertoire of first aid equipment, which is something that I have a lot of, but not enough knowledge to properly use, which is why I'm getting training. I just got some firearms training this past weekend. Now this week coming up, I'm getting some medical training and this is exactly what we should be doing right now. Yes, things are expensive, but what's more expensive? Buying a bunch of gear you don't know how to use or paying for the training that allows you to actually be effective with the gear that costs so much money and takes up so much of your budget when it comes to preparedness inventory. These are all things you should definitely be considering. Make sure you check out refugemedical.com. If you get anything from them or you have any questions for them, make sure you say Magic Prepper sent you because I really enjoy supporting them over there. And I'm really excited because this is training that's happening here in North Dakota, and I get to meet Bear Independent, which is gonna be great, and I also get to talk with Tiborosaurus Rex, who's another prominent YouTube personality here on the platform, and all of us are involved with preparedness, self-defense, and personal improvement at the end of the day. And this is very important for us to be doing right now. So do what you can to acquire the skills, learn how to use the gear. Let's go ahead and open up the NAR public access bleeding control kit, see what's inside and see if it's worth it to you to have something like that, especially if you couldn't afford some of these higher end IFACs that are out there. Totally understandable. Individual first aid kits are very expensive sometimes, but this bleeding control kit at $57 might be something you can afford that could literally save you or someone else's life at some point in time. Okay, so this is the NAR, which is the North American Rescue Bleeding Control Public Access Kit, or however you wanna say it apparently. But right here we have a little tab that we can tear it open with. And this is a pretty durable package, so it's definitely something you could just throw into your vehicle or into your backpack or whatever it is you have in order to get access to some of these supplies on the fly, okay? Now, we've got instructions right here. Okay, for how to use the things within the kit, which is very important because even if you have the medical training in order to overcome some of the issues that uh, you know somebody would have in the sense of a learning curve, you might not be the one actually administering first aid. You might have the kit, but then you go down and somebody has to help you. It might be very important for them to have this information and be able to use the products inside of this properly to save your life. So keep that in mind. Instructions are a good thing to have, all right? Now, we have a 
Gen 7 cat tourniquet. This is orange, so it's nice and easy to see. And that way it's also um, easily identified in case somebody else is using the kit and doesn't really know what it is. Say, hey, grab the orange thing. You don't have to explain that it's a Gen 7 cat tourniquet, you know? So this is good to have. And of course, if you don't know what tourniquets are for, I don't know what else to tell you at this point, but Google it or something, because you should know that by now. All right, so we also have a six inch um, NAR, NAR responder um, emergency trauma dressing, which is basically a compression bandage that'll help seal up something when it's bleeding out and you know give you a way to stop the bleed faster and also have a more, I guess you would say, a temporary bandage in place that will help maintain that bleeding level and maintain the ability to keep that wound uh, sanitary as much as possible. So this is important to have. Then we also have, let's see, wound packing gauze, which I believe is what these two packages are right here. Yep, so wound packing gauze. We have first responder nitrile gloves, which are very important because basically you just wanna make sure you're not getting any cross contamination. If somebody goes down and you don't necessarily know them, they're not family, you don't know what their blood is like or what's in it, always important to have gloves to work with things. And it also keeps the area more sanitary based on what might be on your hands. Then we have the trauma shears, which are always good to have. And these are taped off for obvious reasons to keep it from puncturing the package as it would if they weren't taped off. But basically this gets clothes off of you if you need them to, so you can cut someone's clothes off very quickly. Um, it can also be used to cut other items as well, especially if you're using something in the sense of bandage and you have to lower the length of the bandage or whatever it is, it's good to have emergency trauma shears, definitely important. And if you gotta get clothes off somebody, which in large wound situations you generally do, very important to have, okay? Also comes with a survival blanket, which is just obvious. If hypothermia is gonna take you out and all it would have taken was a mylar blanket to keep you warm or warm you up to the point where you're not gonna die, how ridiculous would it be for you to not have this? So survival blankets are very good to have. Mini permanent markers so you can mark your time and everything for your tourniquet as well as any other markings you might need to do in the sense of wound care. So maybe put the compression bandage on somebody and you wanna mark what time it was put on so we know how long it's been until you have to change the dressing. There's a lot of good reasons why you would have a marker in the kit. And then the instruction card, which is called the just in time instruction card teaches you just a little bit of everything, like I said to begin with, especially if it's for somebody who doesn't necessarily know what they're doing. And honestly, tourniquets uh, can be a little difficult if it's your first time ever using one, and if you do it wrong, it can actually even hurt you further. So these are important things to have, and if somebody doesn't know what they're doing, let them reference the card, because why not? So that's what's in the kit for 57 bucks. You really can't go wrong. Like I said, the code MAGIC gets you 10% off anything at refugemedical.com, and it's really important for us to be able to spread the word, get the training, and have access to the equipment that we need in order to save somebody's life. Because like I said, it's not always SHTF that is gonna require first aid. Sometimes it's just everyday life. I hope this helped you guys out. I hope this gives you some ideas. Please work on your first aid skills as I am getting training in a couple days here with Refuge Medical. You need to be getting training as well. And that's gonna be it for Magic Prep.